Dear family, dear family, it's your cousin P, man, so black and so beautiful, so powerful as usual, so beautiful, so beautiful, man, check this out, man, shop so black and so beautiful.com, man, and uh, get you the new apparel, dear family, get you the new apparel, let's tap right in, man, the law of attraction, the law of attraction, man, man, I was up all night on the computer to like four in the morning, man, and got about two hours of sleep, and I'm up in handling business. See, when you eat one time a day, when you choose to be healthy, when you make that decision to be better than what you were yesterday, man, you could get up, you could you could be up 20 hours of sleep forward and, and wake up juvenated. So let's tap in, man, law of attraction, law of attraction. As a student of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we always taught to study to show self-approved. So when I thought about the, the law of attraction, I don't just say the word. I look at the word and it's look at the word law. Well, the law is rules, guidelines, instructions are something made um, in alignment to, to make it move to make it work called motion you know you have the axles on your car then you have wheels on the car but certain things is aligned with a certain law to make it rotate and move good morning good morning and so when you look at the word law just think of motion when you look at the word attraction that means this motion is attracting something. You know, men and women are attracted to each other. The opposite attracts, it teaches. So the law of motion, I mean the law of attraction is actually spiritual. It's a spirit, it's a it's a it's an energy that has a Spirit component connected to it. Listen to me, dear family, because it's going to get deep. When they say you become what you hang around, the law of attraction, you attract what you are. You become that which you hang around. Have you ever seen two people together? And over a protracted period of time, they started looking like one another. If, if one was ugly than the other one, they started looking like that person. It's because energy molds and develops something. Everything we do is done with energy. When you smile, it's energy. When you're mad, it's energy. Remember that. So when you look at the word law of attraction, sometimes... At you being a good person hanging around the wrong person their energy could uh, swallow you up consume you and you begin to act like that person talk like that person and quite frankly you develop into that energy when you hang around people that's always mad you be you become that energy when you hang around people that's always laughing and giggling you become that energy it's the law of attraction that's the universal law that we have to genuinely study when you hang around people that's always irritable always ego tripping always prideful you become that energy and it ain't even a part of who you are it ain't even a part of who you are and you attract it. That's why it's called the law of, attract, of attraction. You know when you have tampered with self, when you begin to indulge in things that don't make you feel good after you consume it or after you deal with it. Like, you know that you're a beautiful person 
and you start dealing with people that has uh, has afflictions in their lives and been through a lot of things in their lives and and you you know their energy start to consume you and at the end of the day you really don't feel good hanging with them people because your energy is telling you this ain't a good energy for you have you ever walked in a room and just felt the energy in the room somebody walk in the room and they lit up the room the energy or somebody walked in the room and it lit up the room with negativity have you ever you know uh been in a situation like that well that's the law of attraction that energy consumes you like this ain't a good idea it don't feel good and here's time to go my point is dear family law of attraction is so real where you could be engaging with people and then pick up some of their bad behaviors because of the law of attraction you could start you know if you don't have good energy around you because law of attraction ain't nothing but energy if you don't have the good energy around you you know those that want to get make wrongs right those that want to be productive those that want to be successful you know if you don't have them type of people around you you will be always second your guess second guessing yourself on what to do how I'm supposed to do this you only get frustrated because your level of understanding don't know the next level that's the only reason why you get angry and mad because you run into an obstacle or a situation that's foreign to you and then your brain makes you figure it out you have to become a critical thinker in the moment you have to become a critical thinker in the moment so you get frustrated and this is why you have to hang around people that's smarter than you you got to hang around people that's you know like-minded good energy always want to make wrongs rights always want to be productive you know you don't want to be sitting around moping people you don't want to be sitting around uh, egotistical individuals because the law of attraction is you adapt that and you start acting like them you start acting like them this is why it says you are what you eat because if you eating a cow or are you eating beef and you eating pork and pork has trick worms in it and pork stand up to the highest and coldest degree in the world and it gets into your intestinal walls and a, a pig is so re, re, so rebellious and stiff-necked and you consume the food you be your behavior you adapt the behavior of the pig and start acting like one the law of attraction is so real it's so real man so if you want to be successful in life dear family what the what defines success for you because what defines success for me may not define success for you what defines success for me is peace if the individuals or my surrounding environment doesn't bring peace to me i disassociate myself I don't want no egotistical people, no arrogant people, no cocky people, no stubborn people, no always mad people. I want people that solve problems. I want people that critical think. I want people to overcome the emotional um, blockage. It's like the emotional blockage and refrain from um, the stubbornness behavior. You know, I need the people that's, you know, as men sharpen men like steel sharpen steel. When the brotherhood got an issue, the brotherhood addressed the issue. And at the end of the conversation, we love each other. We, I love you, brother. You know what I'm saying? True, define law of attraction. You want for your brother what you want for yourself. So if you engaging with people that, that, you want more uh, for them than they want for you. You have to disassociate yourself. You have to be able to identify the energy and how 
detrimental it is to your health and your life and your and your environment. You got to, dear family. Listen, when you make choices and decisions, the shit is gonna be uncomfortable. Everything in life is uncomfortable. But in order to be comfortable, you have to become uncomfortable. You know, and over a protracted period of time, the individuals with that low vibration energy is gonna say, damn man, I made a mistake. But sometimes you got to step out the equation and allow them people to grow into to what God intends for them to be. You know what I'm saying? What God intends for them to be. But I'm telling you now. But I'm telling you now. The law of attraction is so real. Be mindful who you give your energy to. Be mindful on who you give your energy to. I promise you they will suck you like a leech they will have you angry they will have you mad over small things you know what I'm saying you know small is somebody in your house using your deodorant now you upset mad because they didn't use your deodorant when they do that and put out that type of energy that accepts your energy sometimes you got to want for your people what you want for yourself if they don't know what to do to assure themselves to have deodorant throughout the month you ask for $20 for them $40 for them I'm going to get your cosmetics when I get my cosmetics so you teaching them because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that it's better to win the soul rather than the argument. You want to win the argument? Go ahead. Go on, man. I care about all that arguing and mad and all that. I mean, I'm not worried about none of that. If you win the soul, you win the individual. So, in the process of that individual bringing bad energy and taking it from you, you teach that person in reverse by... Um, getting the money from them Going out buying the same products They're taking from you And then giving to you And then you showing them the way Show them the way And they will start Attracting your energy I'm telling you how this works Dear family When people around you Start doing bad things The Honorable Elijah Muhammad say Look at self Because the individual around you Is a part of you Whether you accept it or not The individual around you is a part of you Whether you accept it or not So If you guide that person with your energy And develop that person They become a You have It's called law of attraction So your energy would super succeed Their energy because right always super succeed wrong always so in conclusion dear family the law of attraction the law of attraction is energy however you use that energy is entirely up to you it worked from a pro perspective and it works from a con perspective. I'm choosing to be pro active opposed to reactive. Anything around me from this day forward, I'm telling you now, dear family, I'm talking to I'm talking to my managers, I'm talking to my children, I'm talking to everybody that's a part of cousin P environment damn it you got to have good energy because I'm always to people what they ain't to me I'm truly understanding um, I'm always I, I keep the greatest humor going 
I'm understandable. I'm slow to anger. But the minute you deviate in our state and whatever we agree to, I keep my word, my bond. I've never deviated off of anything that any of people in my surroundings had an agreement with me. I know exactly what it is because I stand on my truth. I don't cut no cones with that. If you ain't attracting this type of energy, get from around me, dear family. I'm telling you, man. The law of attraction is so real. Sometimes you got to scoot out the old and bring in the ones that's like-minded. That you won't have these hiccups because the time in which we're living is very crucial. Very, very crucial. So, if you want to be like-minded, if you want to be fair, if you want to be reasonable, if you want to reason, if you want to make the wrongs right, if you think that I'm an asset rather than a liability, you have an opportunity to run from that bad energy and accept good energy because that's who I am. That's exactly who I am. I'm good energy. Get out of your mind and being selfish all about you all this all that get in the way of being fair if i don't ride from you don't you ride from me if i ain't cussing you out don't you cuss me out give me everything i give you if i put you in a position to win then reciprocated energy is beautiful if you choose to give it back. If I have understanding and, I, and I'm and I could talk to you when you wrong or when I'm wrong, you can have understanding and talk to me. That's how the brotherhood and the sisterhood work. When I find fault with you, you have understanding and reason with me. You talk to me if I have talk to you that's how we reciprocate good energy all that negative all that egotistical behavior all that stubborn stay your ass where you at alright learn the law of attraction dear family you will be at more peace and your skin will be glowing <laughs> Get away from the get away from individuals that don't bring good energy because it mess with your skin and mess with your organs. Man, you better leave them people alone. Not that I got them problems. I ain't got them problems. I got I got adjustments. I just got to make a few adjustments with certain individuals. But the law of attraction is so real. It could be the life of you or the death of you. May Allah bless you, man. Stay wise in the hour, dear family. Stay wise. You better eat right, too. The law of attraction. Don't be so consumed with your res responsibility to your bills and the responsibility to everything else other than looking out into the world and seeing what's going on. The dollar has, fall, f has failed. Did you know that the BRICS just signed the agreement and ditched the dollar two weeks ago? Did you know that? That means that when you go out of the country, that's why they're going digital now. Because ain't, there's nothing back in the dollar. So all these big nuclear weapon world, I mean, uh, uh, countries that's dissatisfied with the energy. See, they got that law of attraction again. The energy that America has been given to the African people, destroying the, it, it, destroying the people and taking their wealth, using their resources to keep America alive, destroying every other continent. So now all those continents have come together and formed the BRICS. 
and drop the dollar where they don't even need the dollar. See, the U.S. currency was the number one trading currency on the block. But dear family, if you don't see this energy and the climate changing, you better get with like-minded good people when this time comes so you can have one that know how to survive. You better stop eating these bad foods and you better start growing your foods. All this shit is poison and you still consuming it. Have a resource in your pocket that you could call on that could assist you. It's great to have resources, but you got to have good energy. May Allah bless you. Peace out.